All right, traders, this is Blake Morrow with Forex Analytics, and I want to welcome you to the early midweek update. And the reason why it's early is we've seen a lot of volatility in the cable today. As Theresa May talked about a hard Brexit, a lot of that was already factored in the market. Um, and, and what we got is we got a case of buy the rumor, sell the news. And you, you see in the pound dollar race off the lows, and uh, we filled gaps, continued higher towards the 50% retracement, we've kind of stalled there. And we can see the pound really making a move, like I said, across the board. If you if you look at the Euro pound, for example, here's a, a earlier intraday update on the Euro pound that we had earlier today. Uh, the Euro pound actually hit or gapped up on Sunday. Uh, we had a gap up, previous support, current resistance. We stalled right there, filled that gap, and since then, we've continued lower. If you look at the euro pound, we continue to fall, um, you know, even past that gap fill. Now, the thing about the pound is the pound went out at the highs of the day. Okay, you look again at the pound US dollar. We went out at the highs of the day. Ultimately, I'd love to see some sort of pullback in the market. That's uh, always the best case scenario is you can get some sort of pullback. When you go out at the highs or lows, especially at the North American session or you know, sometimes at the European session, you end up racing higher or lower going into the next session. So going into Asia, based on where we're, when I'm recording right now, we might race higher going into Asia and might not get up, give us that pullback. One pair I was looking at in particular is the pound New Zealand. And uh, I kind of screwed up my drawings here. Let me just delete this really fast. Um, but the pound New Zealand, we, we might have set up a triple bottom here you can see on the daily charts a little bit more clear a little daily chart but you know as a trader what i'm always looking for is i'm always looking for what's my risk in this case i know where my risk is my risk is right here you know somewhere below you know this uh, let's call it 167. okay if you're risking below 167 and you're targeting let's say 180 in this case or maybe even higher i mean if it's at 172, 167, 180, we already have a one to more than one, one and a half, one to two risk reward ratio. Now you could theoretically go out and buy it at market, um, which I don't necessarily recommend, uh, but you have good risk reward even at this point. Now, obviously if you get some sort of pullback in the Asian trade, you know, something that looks like this, or maybe even in European trade, where the cable can pull back to a, a, a better entry point, maybe, uh, you know, in this case, maybe something that looks like this, back towards the 50% retracement, that'll give you an opportunity to get even a better risk reward where you're only risking maybe one to make four. Those are the type of opportunities that I'm looking for in the cable. Not necessarily, I don't necessarily know if we're gonna get it. Uh, I'm hoping we do, but, you know, that, that's not always the case. Sometimes the market tends to take off without us and, and it doesn't do exactly what we want it to do. But anyway, this is your mid-week mid market update from the team at Forex Analytics. My name is Blake Morrow with Forex Analytics. Thank you so much for listening in. Have a great session.